In this video, I'm going to look at some equation which ends up with complex roots. Or in other words, I'm going to introduce the concept of complex numbers. So uh, if you haven't learned complex numbers, and if you have an equation like this, x squared is equal to 4, you can solve this in different ways. So let us use algebra. So I can say this is equal to making it a quadratic equation, x squared minus 4 is equal to 0, taking, taking away 4 from both sides. So using difference of two squares formula, so this is x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So here you have two roots, x is equal to negative 2 or x is equal to plus 2. Okay, so this is fine. So when you have, this is uh, a quadrat quadratic equation with two roots. But what happens if you have, say, x to the power of 4 is equal to 16? Okay, so let us make this as an equation. So this is x to the power of 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. So writing this, can I write this as x squared minus 4 times x squared plus 4? equal to 0. So if I set both of them equal to 0, I can say x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. And here, or x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. So here again, this can be written as difference of two squares. This is x minus 2 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. So we get x is equal to plus 2 or x is equal to minus 2. Now when you come to the next equation, you come, you realize that you cannot solve this equation. Okay, now if you, that means if you square, there can be no number. When you, if you think in a different way, if you square x, x if x is a negative or positive number, if you square that, it's always going to be positive. So this is always going to be positive. And a positive number plus 4 is never going to get 0. And this is where you have the limitation of real numbers. Okay, And uh, you end up with, uh, when you are suppose you haven't learned complex number, you would say x squared is equal to minus 4. And then you would say there are no real roots. So this is where your real roots comes or real numbers. When you only know real numbers, you end up with a dead end. So this is a dead end. Okay, or no exit. You can't solve this equation. So mathematically, if you think logically or mathematically, uh, what we are saying is this equation cannot be solved, and that is never possible, or it should not happen. If you have an equation, it should be soluble, or you have to find some value of x which gives you zero. Okay, or in other words, any equation has to have a solution. So to answer this type of equation, mathematicians came up, so let me write this, x squared is equal to negative 4. And here, as I told you, you have a dead end. So here is where maths uh, mathematicians came with a number, which is called i squared. This is a definition, or by, defi uh, by definition, i squared is equal to negative 1. OK? So here, x squared is equal to negative 4. So yeah, if you want to do the next step in real numbers, uh, you have no roots here. Okay, that's what we see here. So now, so if i squared is negative one, I can say i is square root of negative one. So this is square root of negative one. Sorry, square root of negative one. So this I'm going to write this as x squared is equal to. 4 times negative 1. Negative 4 is same as 4 times negative 1. So x squared is equal to 
4 r squared because negative 1 is i squared. Therefore, taking square root of both sides, you can say square root of x squared is equal to uh, is equal to square root of so to put plus or minus square root of 4 i squared. Now i squared is a perfect square, therefore I can say x therefore x is equal to square root of 4 is 2 be plus or minus 2i. So these are the four roots of this equation. Now if you want to show this graphically, uh, let me explain this. So this is your, say, instead of, so let me draw the axis first. So this is now a complex plane, or it's also called an organ plane. So this is your real arm, and this is called the imaginary arm. Okay, so this is your z-axis. So this is your z-axis, and this is your x-axis. So on, on the x-axis, you have the real numbers, and on the z-axis, you have the imaginary numbers. So here the four answers are, so let me write the four answers. So here we got x is equal to plus or minus 2. This is x is equal to plus or minus 2 and or x is equal to plus or minus 2i. So plus or minus 2 on is on the real arm. So this is plus 1, this is plus 2. So this is minus 1, this is minus 2. This is minus 2, this is minus 1. So this is what this is i and this is 2i or this is 1i, 2i. So not drawn to scale, this is minus i and this is minus 2i. So the four roots are not on a straight line, they are in a plane, to say, uh, to explain that in a different way. So the four roots are actually these points. So this is 2 on the real arm, negative 2 also on the real arm. So plus 2i and minus 2i are the four roots. So this is in the, in the xz plane. Hopefully this video isn't helpful. I'll be making more videos on complex numbers.